During the 19th century, enslaved people were seen as property rather than human beings, and as such, their bodies were often used for medical experimentation without their consent or knowledge. One of the most disturbing examples of this practice was the use of enslaved pregnant women for surgical practice. In the mid-1800s, Dr. J. Marion Sims, often referred to as the father of modern gynecology, performed a series of experimental surgeries on enslaved women in Alabama. Sims used these women to perfect his surgical techniques for repairing vesicovaginal fistulas, a condition that can occur during childbirth and can result in urine leaking from the bladder into the vagina. Sims performed countless surgeries on these women, often without anesthesia, and kept detailed records of their pain and suffering. What's even more disturbing is that Sims believed that black women were immune to pain and often disregarded their complaints of discomfort during these surgeries. In one particularly gruesome account, Sims performed over 30 surgeries on a single woman known only as Anarcha without providing any pain relief. He also performed experiments on new mother named Lucy, who had given birth a few months prior and hadn't been able to control her bladder since. During the procedure, patients were completely naked and asked to perch on their knees and bend forward onto their elbows so their heads rested on their hands. Lucy endured an hour-long surgery, screaming and crying out in pain, as nearly a dozen other doctors watched. As Sims later wrote, Lucy's agony was extreme. She became extremely ill due to his controversial use of a sponge to drain the urine away from the bladder, which led her to contract blood poisoning. I thought she was going to die. It took Lucy two or three months to recover entirely from the effects of the operation, he wrote. Sims's experiments on enslaved women continued for years, and he eventually went on to perform similar surgeries on white women, using the knowledge he had gained from his previous experimentation on black women. But Sims was not alone in his use of enslaved people for medical experimentation. Other doctors, such as Dr. Walter F. Jones and Dr. Robert Marion, also performed surgeries on enslaved pregnant women and enslaved men in the pursuit of medical knowledge. Dr. Walter F. Jones was a physician and medical researcher who lived in Alabama during the mid-19th century. In 1844, he was appointed as the physician for the Alabama Penitentiary, where he began conducting experiments on the prisoners. However, his experiments soon expanded to include enslaved people, whom he purchased specifically for the purpose of using them as test subjects. Jones conducted a range of experiments on the enslaved people, including surgeries and injections. He claimed that he was testing new surgical techniques and trying to find cures for diseases such as tuberculosis and pneumonia. However, his methods were often brutal and caused immense suffering for the enslaved people. One of the most infamous experiments conducted by Jones involved the surgical removal of an enslaved woman's uterus without anesthesia. The surgery was performed in front of other enslaved people who were forced to watch.